Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. And when last we left off, we're missing a key. And I have a theory that the key is somewhere over here, with all of these undead. Yes, we're going back into the area full of undead, but hopefully this is the last time we will be, because once we have that key, we can progress. I still don't understand why we're going back here. That key could literally be in the pocket of any cleric in the entire temple. The key could also be down here. We need to be thorough. There is a limit to being thorough, you know. One can be too thorough. And every time we're thorough, we find more undead. Defeating the undead is a noble thing. It indeed is. Philendra, you would say that regardless of what evil entity it was. I prefer avoiding them myself. Let's see if we can find anything of importance here, like a key. A key that I completely missed the first time round. Yep, I picked up the thing that was there and then quickly walked away, ignoring the thing that I really should have been paying attention to. That's my fault, but that's okay, because we found it eventually, and I got to defeat a few more undead, which means more experience. Now, before we go to that uh, locked door, I'm going to switch the party order a little bit, because I can, starting with giving Sandstar these braces of armor, which should increase his armor class to two. Pretty impressive, considering that uh, Valendra's is minus two, and Calandra's is minus two. What we want to do is we want to swap people around, namely, you two and you two. Sandstar is going to be on the front row for a little while, and to facilitate this, we're going to give him a short sword, and we are going to give him the other short sword that we have. Someone's holding on to it, I think it might be you. Hopefully this is an extremely magical sword, it might very well not be, but it's still worth uh, giving this a go. So that we have three people that can fight, because Valendra's polearm allows her to fight from the second row. Let's do some resting. We need to rest, get all of our spells back, all of our health, and also use the uh, Create Food spell to get even more food. I don't want to go to another floor without uh, a steady supply of rations and everything else we need to basically live. So, Create Food, that is done. Now we are going to rest. Again! Eight hours later, we're good to go. Right, let's see how effective that key is. It may not fit, you never know. I hope it does, after all the effort we went to get it. Let's just go over here and... who has that key? I have the key. And it works. Marvelous. We can progress and continue our quest to fight evil. You're starting to sound like Valendra. After a moment of dizziness, a vision of Kelvin appears in your mind. Hello, Kelvin. How are you? My friends, I see you are within Dark Moon. What have you discovered? Oh, you don't want to know. Actually, you do, I'm going to tell you. You explain to Kelvin that the apparently peaceful temple is a stronghold of evil. You recount the tale of your battles with clerics, guards, and numerous undead warriors. It sounds as if they are massing an army. It is as I feared. You must continue with your quest and learn more, while I consult with the Lords of Waterdeep. I will contact you again when I am able. Thanks, Kelvin. Goodbye. Is that blood ahead of us? Yes, Nilamva, it is indeed blood. We should be very cautious. And cautious we will be as we look around for more things. Like some parchment. Why don't we read all the parchments again? A sound idea. We don't exactly have many, though. This is some type of entry ripped out of a journal. The architecture in these catacombs is marvellous and intriguing. I know about the drow and their fascination with hidden and secret passages. I must find... and then it ends. We'll drop that and pick up... the East Wind! Right, we have another one of those trumpets. And we have a potion of healing, always handy. A potion of healing, always handy. And a potion of speed, always handy but we are running out of inventory space really quickly. Really quickly indeed, and you might as well put that shield back on. That shield is going to be very important. I know I could equip you with a uh, another weapon there, but 
the shield means that you have a really decent armor class. And here is another piece of parchment. We'll give this one a read as well. I think I have found the passageway to the hidden level. I am excited. If only... And then nothing. I wonder what happened to that person to make their writing so brief. Probably death, Calandra. Death happens to a lot of adventurers who aren't as good as we are. And pride cometh before the fall. The wall does not look very safe. Perhaps we can bash it down. I would not advise it, Lilamva. Perhaps the whole ceiling may collapse on us. Hmm, you're probably right. Lots and lots of pressure plates. More things to read, though. I'll give them a read for you. Let's see. The fragment of parchment is burnt and bloodstained. Dran. As you well know and have come to expect from my superior, if not godly, intellect, I have exposed another one. Meet me at the northern intersection so that we may both... The rest of the message is burned away. There's probably some kind of trap here. You would be wise to presume that. We need to see what kind of trap. Okay, that's a fireball. That is a fireball. Well, I think we've discovered what's going on there and what happened to that person. They died horribly. But, pressing that means that that is now down and won't activate again. The wall looks exceptionally frail here. I wonder. We can't go that way. But, maybe there is a switch of some variety that we could press to, uh, get through. We have to, uh, hit it maybe? Aha! If we hit it, we have revealed a way forward to stairs that lead down. We're going to save, because you never know what might be down these stairs. Probably death, but let's give it our best and uh, have a look, shall we? Going down. We are here. There are stairs that lead up, which is fine. And there is a door. And this here. The drainage hole shows signs of extreme erosion. The writing says... There is no turning back. All who enter are doomed. Oh, how cheery. It's not like we haven't read something like that before. We should heed its warning, though. Definitely. Well, that's not good. We are indeed trapped, and I imagine if we'd have stepped forward, that would have uh, closed behind us anyway. So now we are indeed stuck. Let's see if we can figure out... What's down here? Be very cautious, everyone. Enemies may be at every turn, and we must be careful. Pressing that switch may have done something. Probably sealed our doom, or at least a horrible monster. Or maybe none of those things. So far, this place appears to be very quiet indeed. But we still should be cautious. Ooh, secrets. Secrets are good. I had a feeling there'd be something there. And we need a key. We don't have a key like that. It looks like a, uh... Ooh! That is some sort of... Oh, that's an ooze. That's an ooze. We need to watch out because oozes are horrible. Also, uh... You cannot reach. So my idea was entirely, uh... Unfounded. But we have found a spider key. That looks like a spider. Let's swap you two back, because you're not going to be, uh, doing anything concerning that. You can't reach the, uh, front ranks, but that's okay, I suppose. We'll just have you... let's see... We're gonna have to hold on to this for someone else, probably. And that. You need to have a rock there. We have found something, though. We have found... a skull. And... A potion of healing. We want to hold on to this potion of healing, but we're really running out of space. Maybe we don't need this short sword. It's probably not magical. Switch opens this up, which is fine. Anything else? There is a pressure plate there. Okay. That opens that. Leading to here. Oh, and to an enemy. <laughs> That is an... Oh, dear. That's not good. We need to defeat these enemies as 
quickly as possible as lots of people are getting hit. These enemies are quite tough. And the sooner this one is gone, oh, the sooner that one is gone, the sooner somebody else can replace where that uh, enemy was. We're probably going to have to do some healing or something. These enemies actually aren't that tough, which is fortunate, but Rune, not doing so well. There are, what, two enemies left? Oh, 23! Oh, that is bad. But we emerged victorious. Is everyone all right? I am fine, Calandra, but these wounds could do with some healing. We'll heal them later, once we have uh, made sure that there are no more enemies here. A sound idea. Bracers of protection. Those would be handy. You can wear them. Wait, minus seven? Minus two. Okay, those are substantial. Those are really substantial. What's the downside? It doesn't look like there is one. It just looks like they're really good. What about this? Minus two. Okay, everything's normal there, and it looks like everything's normal there. That's just a shield, by the looks of it. This is the Longsword Hathkull. Don't know if that's a magical one or uh, anything else, but uh, we'll drop the sling. There's also a, uh, a parchment here. I think I dropped the parchment already. But there is a staff. Now, the staff might be uh, useful. Also, we have a copper key that we're currently not using. And lots and lots of potions of healing. I get the feeling the reason why the game gave us tons of potions of healing is because we're probably going to be using them. Also, we don't need that dagger. We do have this skull key, though, that we're not using. Right, now it's time to do some healing. Maybe with a potion of healing. Can't hurt, after all. How do we use these? Do we have to eat them? You may only eat food. Ah, do we have to put them in our hand and then use them? Yes, and they heal practically nothing. Right, nice to know that they're pretty much useless. But I suppose they will heal uh, Rune in a pinch. Let's see about uh, healing Rune here with a Cure Light Wounds. That did practically nothing. I think we're just going to have to be careful and make sure that uh, we're a lot more cautious. A lot more cautious. So this area leads to here with just lots of monsters. Right. And that probably opens the way back. So, lesson learned. Let's not go back in there. Ever again. I agree. These wounds are not going to heal for quite a while. Hopefully they will heal. I'm sure they will. We just need to be very careful. There is this key that we can use, though. It's worth a try, I suppose. Let us go down to this area. Hopefully there won't be any horrible monsters here! Who am I kidding? This place is basically going to be full of horrible monsters. I can hear monsters. Can't see them, but I can hear them. These marks look like deep scratches. So whatever's down here hurts and is able to rend stone. The grade has not seen much use lately. Not surprising, really. So, I saw something there. But what was that something? That something was a giant ant. A really giant ant. Hopefully we can defeat, gi we can defeat giant ants quite capably, which at least is nice. They are not that tough, but we don't want them to hit us. Okay, they're not that difficult, the giant ants. It was mainly that ambush that was the uh, tricky fight. Ooh, there have been many adventurers that have gone down here and have not come back alive. I wonder what this black tar-like stuff is. Probably not good. We found a spider key, though. Spider keys are always useful. What else do we... Okay, I can hear the enemies, so I'm a little concerned. We have a femur here. Now, what's the difference between a femur and a skull? Probably not a lot. There's a rock, a femur, and a skull. Let's grab a few femurs, shall we? And just put them down and... Oh, there's one ant. We need to be careful of you. 
I don't think uh, any of the ants are especially different, they're just very numerous. Which is not so... Oh, is there one behind us? There's one behind us. So that explains what that is. You feel a draft coming from the hole. We can't do anything to go in there, though. Let's grab this femur and find a way to take it with us. A scroll of shield. Do we really need a scroll of shield right now? We could use a scroll of shield. That would probably help you. I don't see a situation where a scroll of shield is really going to help us. I can see a situation where fighting lots of uh, ants is also not going to help us. You know, I don't know what's worse, giant ants or giant spiders. I'd probably say the spiders. The ants are at the very least just giant ants, whereas the spiders, pretty bad. We also want to make sure we are not going to be ambushed, because I imagine the uh, respawn rate of these uh, ants is going to be very big. There is another femur. And there is another ant. We need to definitely keep our eyes peeled for those ants. Also, uh, I think you uh, using one of these, probably a good idea. Freeze up a bit of inventory space, if nothing else. So, anything else here? There is a skull, there is a dagger. Don't know how good the dagger is, and there is a uh, small pile of rocks. The rocks we're not going to be taking with us, because, let's face it, they are rocks. Also, is there an ant here? There was. Let us sneak up on this ant and take it out. The sooner we deal with... Oh, back up here. The sooner we deal with all these ants, the uh, safer we will ultimately be. Okay, this place is just full of giant ants. Full of them. We need to be very careful here. Very careful indeed. We also probably want to do some more exploring in this direction. And find more things. No one has been here in a long time. Indeed. It appears to have once been a jar or container. Now it is just something to distract us while we have a look in here. For anything. There is a femur and another femur. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful here either. This place is a little creepy. A little creepy? It's full of giant ants that are trying to kill us. It's exceptionally creepy. We do need to be very careful. The sooner we're out of here, the better we'll be. I agree with that. This place is a horrible place. There must be something of importance here. There doesn't always have to be important things in places, Lilamva. Sometimes places are just death traps. This could very well be one of those places. Ooh, lots of stuff here. Lots of people have perished in this area. Lots of them. There's a skull and a helmet. Now, I don't know if this helmet is, uh, cursed or not. But, we have a Dark Moon key here. And carrying more keys is always useful. That said, we don't have much carry capacity to have another key. And I'm really concerned about all of these, uh, monsters that are around us. Maybe another potion of healing might be a good thing for you to use. Just to keep you healthy. What else do we have here? A longsword, some chainmail, a femur, another shield, this one with a, uh, sort of, uh, evilish image on it. We have more of this tar, and, oh, it makes you slip. That's what it does. It makes you slip. Okay, well noted. What else do we have here? A dagger, a dagger, and some darts. The darts don't look especially valuable, but we should still be very careful, because this place is bad. Bad in a kind of, hey look, it's horrible kind of way. Full of loads and loads of monsters. Loads of them. Anything over here? The markings of a powerful beast indeed. The giant ants, I presume. Most likely. Very much a dangerous foe. I did not think an ant that was giant would be so deadly. They are huge. We can deal with them quite capably. But can we deal with them forever, Sandstar? That is a different question. And when we come back, folks, we need to keep exploring this area. 
full of giant ants. Maybe there's something else here, like a key that we haven't found already, because we have found quite a few keys. We have a spider key and a dark moon key. Hopefully these keys will prove useful. Hopefully we can find something else that's useful here as well, like another one of those trumpets. That would be quite useful. But so far all we're finding are lots of giant ants, and that is the way back, so I'm a little concerned that we're going to have a fight on our hands just to get out of here. Still, Calandra is proving her worth alongside Valendra in dealing with all of these ants. And so, I'll catch you next time folks, and I'll see you then. Later.